built for it. You're built for it. I told y'all how many times y'all built for it. Do you understand why you're built for it? Because you made it so far. You've been through the most troublesome times of your life. You've been through some of your greatest times of life. But don't ever underestimate your potential. When you build yourself up to the way you are, don't ever feel like you haven't built yourself up to the best potential of yourself. Even if you aren't, continue to build your potential. Continue to become someone that you are because you are a doggone leader. You are a good person to be around. And to the young bucks out here, man, fight. I want y'all to know that we all are doggone going through it in our own ways. When we go through it in our own ways, we all have things we can't control. We all have disabilities. We all have things that we can't overcome at that time. But I guarantee you, put God first. Put things that builds you up first. Put people in your life that helps you, that wants you to become who you are, that doesn't have no doggone judgmental cases against you. And become the person that you want to be. You have to put yourself first. Sometimes you have to put yourself first in order to become the successor that you are. You know what I'm saying? Allow yourself to be wise by the things that you have seen in this world. This world is crazy. This world is crazy. I'm telling you that. But you have to understand. If you see it with your own eyes, you can definitely tell some things are off in this world. So I want y'all to understand, DSJ Podcast fam, that we all are capable of our own abilities. And I know I keep repeating what I'm saying, but it's sections, man. It's sections. I was talking to some people about, you know, some things. And I want y'all to know that there is no no problem with loving the person that you don't love or don't know. There's a person, there's a, there's a, a goal, there's something that you have in you. To know that love is not having to deal with always relationships. Relationship always. A love is something that is essential. When you go through your challenges, I wanted to talk about this. When you go through your challenges, who do you depend on? You depend on God. Oh, I, I'll tell you this. I depend, I depend on God. I depend on my family. I depend on myself. I depend on other people that wheels me up to where I am. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section below, how do you build yourself up? How do you carry yourself every single day? Because we all have to carry ourselves in our own rights, in our own ways. But you have to be known. You have to know. When things go south, pick your head up. Pick your mind up. And keep on fighting because you have it in you. You have it in you. You know what I'm saying? Life is going to get easier. Life is going to get better for you. When you're going through rough times, when you're going through the worst, understand how much you are to yourself first. Your family loves you. God loves you. That's the most important two things you need. God and family. You need those two things. Friends, they come and go. But when you have those real friends, they will definitely help you out in your life. I've known a lot of people in my life that have left my life. And I've always still went to this one person. And you already know, he's my co-host. You know what I'm saying? He's always been there for me since I was 11 years old. And I'm 21. So, yes, man. Get you a good support system. I tell y'all that all the time. Because we all got it in us, man. We all got the potential in us. Now we just got to keep on doing it. We just got to keep on pushing ourselves to do it. If we don't do it, who's going to do it? You can't control no one else and what they want to do. Or you can't control how other people do things. You got to control yourself. So allow yourself to be blessed this season. It's May. It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? We we have, we almost halfway there. You know what I'm saying? Be blessed. Stay focused on the prize. Stay focused on the goals in life. And allow yourself to know that you are who you are. And under God, you are you can do anything. You can do anything you want to in this life. Now, yeah, I know y'all going to question my locks. Y'all already know my hair is a mess. <laughs> my hair is a mess. But, hey, man. Like I said, I'm fine. I know I know my hair looks like a mess. I'm gonna get that retwist soon. But yeah, man, thank y'all so much for listening to me. 
you know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for, you know, spending that time to, to listen to someone who may have those similar traits or that might be looked at as someone that, you know, just talks about the same stuff. But it's better to remind people about the things that you've seen or things that you've done. And sometimes it's best for other people to tell you how they've been through things and stuff like that. And so, yeah, man, you can do it. You can do it. Definitely. You ever feel like you aren't capable of doing anything? You are capable of doing all things because God said so. He says in the Bible, Philippians 4.13, you can do all things to Christ to get you straight. And you're capable of it. You're capable of it. And I know you can do it. So keep your head up. Keep focusing on yourself. And yeah, stay positive out here. Stay doing things that's going to benefit you out here. And allow beneficial people to help you out in your own circle. So with that being said, I got to go. I, I got I to gotta hide a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I got to go go to my, my, my little part right here. But yeah, man. DSJ Podcast, man. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And we out. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go.